let's render this scene pretty quickly um, so I will create another tutorial on how to create this scene but uh, that's not what I want to you know explain here I want to explain here how you would use your cycles with very low um, samples uh, very low samples and still you get a better results so let's render this out with uh, you know 16 cycles uh, render samples and let's see what's the output of that it took around 30 seconds to render this out but you know what this is not acceptable right so this is very noisy so let's do some uh, tricks the first thing I want to show you is you know use denoising so let's click on this uh, render properties and then come to sampling and then click on denoising and then enable denoising select open image denoiser and then let's see what it looks like let it out and then as you are you know rendering your image the denoiser is also going through these same cycles and then denoising your image so as you can see you can see a very good improvement even though you have a 16 cycle samples um, your image comes out to be you know pretty good for 16 uh, cycles you know samples for the cycles render engine so the render is done and then the denoising is still doing not bad right for 16 samples of cycles all right let's do the same thing in a different way so let's de, uh, you know, deactivate this denoising. Instead, I'm going to compositing, and uh, you know, if you if you do not already, if you did not have done it already, click on use nodes. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to add another node. Add search for denoise, and then plug it here. And then also I come down to view layer properties. And under the data passes under the data, click on um, enable denoise data, and then you have you know denoising normals. You connect that one to the normals of the denoiser, and also you have uh, denoising albedo, right? Click connect that one to albedo. So that is basically the reflections or refractions or light. You know how much light a given surface is you know re reflecting so that's kind of uh, thing that is dealing with the albedo so once you connect all these and then you just de you already deactivate this uh, open image denoiser but you activate that one from you know this denoiser the same thing and then let's see what is the output looks like this time the cycles is you know rendering with uh, 16 samples it's fast and also that denoiser is not coming uh, behind the cycles so this time it's at the compositing stage so let's see what's the difference between this one and that one initializing execution let's wait for the results all right it's done it is 50 seconds it's faster than open denoiser open image denoiser that we used uh, before so this is the output so 16 samples um, cycles see you can see a clear, a clear difference between the 16 cycles and then after denoising using the open image denoiser all right so that's pretty much it so we will uh, create a, a separate tutorial on how to create this scene in blender uh, thanks for watching